The land of Numbra is a place of its own. A land where the sun never rises. A land of eternal night. For hundreds of years, we have been ignored by the rest of the world, left to slumber alone in the shadows. Our homeland is harsh and unforgiving. Only the strongest survive, while the weak get crushed. Even so, that didn't stop the Kamloops, a small and pitiful nation, from migrating here. Weary of the everlasting wars waged by their neighboring nations, the Kamloops left everything behind. Everything but a foolish hope for better days. On their quest for peace and tranquility, they sought shelter in perilous Numbra. There they would find haven in the perpetual darkness that shrouded their new home. Or so they thought. For a new threat now loomed. One that could not only engulf the Kamloops, but also plunge all of Numbra into oblivion. Hmm, what do we have here? Who is this young fellow? Let's watch from afar. It's as if the fireflies are trying to lead him somewhere. I wonder where. Oh, this child seems troublesome. Huh. I would sooner be away from him. Something vile has happened here. I've never seen such crystals in number before. The boy should be cautious. Run, run, run! What is that thing? It seems to react to the boy's presence. Wait. What's happening? And here I thought I was rid of him. Down there, never mind. I knew this fool would drag me into this. I never imagined that, in my ripe old age, I would leave my exile to become, once again, involved in the affairs of Numbra. I, Strix, the last night owl, saving a foolish child. Ha! <laughs> the boy claimed to have no recollection of his past, or how he got here. He couldn't even remember his name. I had no choice but to take him to the nearest village, hoping that 
would be the end of it. Let's get going. These old bones can't carry you all the way. How odd. The village looks deserted. I remember this place being occupied by the Kamloops. Does this place ring a bell, boy? Are my eyes deceiving me? Or is this poor fellow trapped inside that crystal? There's not much we can do for him now. What a mess! The way is blocked. to have lost your tongue, I might as well give you a history lesson. The Kamloops worship five divinities called celestial gods. Obviously, they didn't seem to be much of use here. Over here! This is Spherus, Dame Nature. She is one of the five divinities I was telling you about. Too kind and gentle for my taste. Looks like you're trapped on the other- Ah! You reckless fool! Another villager. Free him at once. He... vanished. This is Orlog, the Timeless One. Although I fear he has grown senile over the years. 